So let's make some of those strawberries with filling. This is really important to have this type of cheese. It's almost like a cream cheese, but it's called mascarpone. So it's some type of cheese. And we have three tablespoons of confectioner sugar, half a cup of cold, cold, heavy cream, quarter teaspoon of vanilla, and let's whip it up. Okay, so there's the mascarpone cheese. I put the vanilla in, I'm putting the heavy cream and the confectioner's sugar. Okay, so I'm torturing myself asking Siri, how many ounces is one cup? Well, I forgot, I have these for you guys. If you want one of these, it's on my fridge. Let me know, I'll mail it to you. Then we're just gonna mix it up Continue mixing till it turns creamy. You always want to make sure the heavy whipping cream is really cold. So I'm going to put this in my kitchen a blender. This is actually the best investment I did is getting my KitchenAid. So we're going to pour this in. I put my orange zest in there. The only thing I didn't have and I try to find is the... Um, the vanilla bean and they want fresh vanilla bean so that's the only thing so I just want a little bit it was a quarter teaspoon of vanilla I just went a little bit heavier with the vanilla that's it so we're going to turn this on until it whips and it turns smoothly <laughs> Now that it looks like it's getting swirly, I'm going to stop it. Then you want to get a pastry bag. I ordered these on Target.com. Came with a lot of these pastry attachments, including this, and the pastry bag that you can reuse. So I'm going to fill my bag. Luckily, like I said, I had this. Okay, so I have my bag ready to go. Okay, so you see here, I got my strawberries. I washed them really well, and then I cut the stem flat so they stand the other way. And then I cut them with a very thin, sharp knife. I did an X. Did the best I can. Let's try it out. Let's fill them in. <laughs> This is probably the biggest one here. You know, strawberries, they don't all come in the same size. I gotta say the dressing is yummy. Or the filling, I should say. This will be good on cupcakes too. Okay, so here is the finished product. Not bad. This is my first time making these. I saw this recipe, I believe, on Pinterest. I think it's a Bobby Flay recipe. But it is super delicious. And then with Valentine's coming up, I cannot tell you how easy, in less than 20 minutes, I was able to prepare this. And they are delicious. So, hope you guys try it. If you want me to send you the full recipe, let me know and I will share that with you. Have a great evening, guys.